Pastor Dale. <clears throat> Pastor Dale. Yeah. I'm mad at my sister. Okay. What did she do this time? Well, okay. So my mom ate this yummy dandelion pie. Oh yeah, her famous dandelion pie. Famous, huh? Have you heard about it? Well, I mean, yeah, I've heard you talk about it. See, it's famous. It's so good. Okay. And and there was one piece left. Oh yeah? And I told my sister, you had more than I did, so you should save that piece for me. Okay. And I left and I came home and it was gone. What happened to it? What do you think happened to it? My sister ate it! Well, did you talk to her about it? Well, yeah, she said it just smelled so good she just couldn't resist. It's kind of understandable. It's really good pie. That's why it's famous. Okay. Um, but, so I mean, it's kind of understandable, right? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But she promised. Well, yeah. yeah. She promised that she wouldn't eat it, but then she did. She broke her promise. Well, yeah, I, that's really frustrating, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, people don't always keep their promises, unfortunately. But the good news is that God does. He does? Always? Yeah, yeah, like in today's story. He promised a wife for Abraham's son, Isaac, so that they would have lots of descendants and fulfill his promise to Abraham. And so God provided Rebekah to be the, the wife for Abraham. Was she just like the perfect wife? Well, no, because we're all sinners, but she was the right wife for Isaac. Oh. Well, okay, so yeah, God kept that promise, but does he always keep his promises? Um, yeah, even when it meant sending his son Jesus to die on the cross for us, to, and suffer and, and all that for us, he did that because he promised to do it. Wow, he really does keep his promises. Yeah, he really does. Hey, let's thank him for that. Good idea. Will you pray with us? Okay, go ahead. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. For keeping your promises. For keeping your promises to love us. To love us. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, so question for families. What promises has God made to you? And how do you know that you can count on those promises that he'll actually give you those things? Wait a minute. I'm not sure what God, promises God's made to us. Oh, well, you know, you can actually look at the Ten Commandments to find those promises. The Ten Commandments? Yeah, all the commandments that God gives us to follow, he gives us because each one has a promise attached to it. It does? Yeah, sure. You think about it, the reason that God calls us to follow his commandments is because of the promises that he's made to us, right? For example, right? We don't steal. Why not? Because it's bad. Well, yeah, but we don't steal because we don't have to because God's promised that he'll provide us with everything that we need. really cool. So you can go through the other commandments and see what promises there are with all of those. Yeah, that's a good place to start. And there's lots of other promises that God's made, but that's a good place to start. Wow. So wait, wait, wait. I have one more question. Okay. If Jesus promised not to eat pie, then he wouldn't, would he? No. No, if he promised he wouldn't do it, then he wouldn't do it. He also promised to forgive you and your sister. He, oh yeah, okay. All right, thanks for watching, bye. Bye now.